Hey guys, in this beginner level tutorial, you will learn how to use LM35 temperature sensor with Arduino and it's working. And then later in the video, I will show you how you can turn a DC motor on and off according to the temperature measured by LM35. LM35 is an analog linear temperature sensor. Analog means the output voltage of LM35 is analog in nature and linear means this output voltage varies linearly with the change in temperature. LM35 is a 3 terminal device and here is the pinout of LM35. Plus VCC and ground provides power to the sensor. You can supply any voltage between 4V to 20V. Whereas V output or signal pin gives the output voltage corresponding to temperature. Since LM35 is an analog device and gives analog output, the output pin of LM35 should be connected to the ADC aka analog to digital converter first to convert the output signal to digital. Now the good thing is Arduino have its own inbuilt ADC. So we need to just connect the analog pin of Arduino to V output pin of LM35. Another important factor to consider LM35 in your project is its low self heating due to its drawing current which is only 60 micro ampere. There are three different variants of LM35 available in transistor package LM35A, LM35B and LM35C. The only difference being in range of temperature measurements. LM35A can measure temperature between minus 55 to 150 degrees Celsius, LM35C between minus 40 to 110 degrees Celsius and LM35D between 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. In this tutorial, I'm going to use LM35DZ variant. Now if you're here for the application part only, feel free to skip this part. This is the functional block diagram of a typical LM35, which you can find in its data sheet. And these are the pinouts, VCC, ground and V output pin. What this circuit basically does is, it gives a temperature dependent voltage output here, buffered by amplify A2 to give output to V output pin. These transistors are used to create a band gap voltage reference that is a constant fixed voltage reference regardless of temperature and power supply variations. And this is the reason you can power LM35 using any voltage between 4V to 20V. And now I am going to show you how to interface temperature sensor with Arduino to print the surrounding temperature on serial monitor of Arduino IDE. Here is the circuit connection for the same. Plus VCC of LM35 goes to 5V pin of Arduino. Ground of LM35 goes to ground pin of Arduino. And V output goes to the analog A0. I have already mentioned that the analog output of temperature sensor should be converted to digital first. And scale factor is 0 0.01 volt rise per degree Celsius. So we are going to use analog pin of Arduino to convert this analog output voltage to digital values. And then by using a formula in the program, convert these digital values to the corresponding temperature. Suppose we are getting a value of 65 on serial monitor from the V output pin of LM35. We know 1023 corresponds to 5 volt in Arduino. So 65 corresponds to 5 divided by 1023 multiplied by the value which we are getting and this will give us the output voltage to convert this output voltage to temperature in degree celsius we are going to use a scale factor of 0 0.01 volt rise per degree celsius now 1 volt gives us 100 degree celsius so the calculated voltage will give calculated voltage multiplied by 100 this is the surrounding temperature in degree Celsius. We are going to use this formula in our program. Here is the program you need to write for the same. First, store the value from analog pin A0 to the V output variable. Then, by using the formula explained earlier, convert this value to degree Celsius. And finally, print these temperature values on serial monitor by using simple serial commands. Connect Arduino to your laptop using Arduino burn cable. Select COM port and upload the code. 
Now open serial monitor. You can see the room temperature sensed by LM35, which is around 29 degrees Celsius. Let's see how it responds to the hot iron. Let's bring it close to the sensor. Temperature is slowly rising. Let's bring it far from the sensor. Temperature is decreasing again. Here is a small project you can easily make to control the state of the DC motor according to a predefined temperature limit. What this means is that as soon as the temperature rises to a certain value, DC motor will start running. Please keep in mind that we are not controlling the motor speed here. It's just a state control. For this small project, apart from Arduino and LM35 temperature sensor, you will also need a motor driver L293D. L2981 will also do the job. 6 to 12 volt DC motor and an external power supply. A 12 volt adapter in this case. And these are the circuit connections for the same. Now this circuit needs some motor driver IC to control the motor. So we are going to use L293 d module or L293 d IC. You can also use L2981 for the same purpose. This is the pinout of L293 d IC having DIP package with 16 pins starting from here. Pin number 0 to pin number 16. Pin number 0 to pin number 8 to pin number 16 this way. Enable 1 is the pin which enables output 1 and output 2 either on or off. That is in order to use these pins as output, enable pin must be set high. If enable pin is set 0 or if it is connected to ground, then output 1 and output 2 will always be in off condition. Similarly enable 2 control output 3 and output 4. IN1 is the pin connected to digital output pin of Arduino to control output 1. Similarly, IN2 for output 2 and IN3 for output 3 and IN4 for output 4. Pin number 4, 5, 13 and 12 should be connected to the ground of Arduino. Now this pin is connected to external power supply to directly power the motor which in our case is the V-in pin of Arduino since we are going to use external 12 volt adapter to power Arduino. Finally, 16 pin is connected to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Here are the final circuit connections. You can find more about this in my website. Link is given in the description. To make things easier, I am going to use L293 d motor driver module instead of IC. But if you are a beginner, I will recommend using L293 d IC. So this is the final circuit and this is the program you need to write for the same. First set digital pin 8 and 9 as output pins. Store the value from analog pin A0 to the V output variable. Then by using the formula explained earlier, convert this value to degree Celsius. Now we are going to use if command to set the condition to turn the motor on. So if temperature is greater than equals to 40 degrees celsius then digital write 8 pin high and 9 pin low else in any other case digital write both the pins low what this program does is that when temperature is less than 40 degrees celsius motor will not run but as soon as temperature hits 40 degree motor starts running let's upload this code and power the arduino from external 12 volt adapter open the serial monitor as you can see temperature right now is around 30 degrees celsius which is less than 40 degree so motor is not rotating let's increase the temperature by bringing heated iron close to the surface of lm35 and observe the motor state
so the motor works exactly as we want according to the temperature. In the next part of this tutorial, we will move forward and see how to control speed of the motor according to the temperature rise. So guys, that was all for today. If you like this video, don't forget to like and do subscribe to the channel. Now I'll see you next time. Bye bye.